Hey everyone, Ray Sawbell, RaySawbell.com. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Google Ads remarketing and a couple ways you can set it up. We're going to go through the Google Tag Manager implementation and then the Google Analytics implementation. There'll be a couple links down below in the description if you wanna bounce around and choose the section that works best for you. I'm going to highly recommend the Google Analytics route, but I'll be covering both. One thing I wanted to mention before jumping into this video is that right now, Google Ads is offering a $150 promo for new advertisers, and it's highly recommended that you take advantage of this right now. So there's gonna be a link somewhere on the screen that you can take advantage of this offer. So feel free to click that and check it out. It's completely free. Um, it's from Google, there's no affiliation at all. So um, just a cool promo, but let's get started. The first implementation we are going to be going through is Google Analytics. And in order to do that, you need to have a Google Analytics account, and then you need to link that Google Analytics profile to your Google Ads account. And there's a couple of ways to do that. Here's the easiest way, in my opinion. Head on over to analytics.google.com, your Google Analytics view. Click on the gear in the bottom left-hand corner. Then go to Google Ads Linking. Once you're there, click on New Link Group and then you'll be able to mirror up your profile. Now, as long as you're logged into the same Google account that shares access to your analytics and ads account, you'll be able to match everything up here perfectly. I've already done this step, but if you just click on this button here, click on continue, um, and then you can name this. So I'll just name this raise ads account. I'm going to want to pass over just my filter view. I don't want to pass over my raw data view, but you can choose what view you want to share. Um, information over to Google Ads, and then you just link the accounts. Great, and then once you link the accounts, you just click Done. Your ad account is now linked, and if you go back to Google Ads, you can see that they are linked by going to the Tools and Settings section. Go to Linked Accounts, then click on Details, and you'll see that you're now linked to this section right here, which is perfect. So now that you have the two profiles hooked up, you're now able to enable remarketing on your account. And in order to get back to that, you need to go to analytics, click on the gear, go to audience definitions, which is in this middle column here, and then click on audiences. And then this is the tab where you'll be able to enable remarketing and start to build all sorts of audiences that you can then import, that'll automatically import over to Google Ads. So, you just need to say that I accept remarketing and you accept all the terms and services and you'll begin remarketing to users. And then the really cool thing is that um, Google Ads will automatically build out a 30-day audience. So if somebody visits raceallvel.com, then in the next 30 days, they'll fall within this 30-day audience of mine. So by default, this is going to build out a 30-day remarketing window audience. So then you can add the destinations as I've done before. And you're gonna say, here are the Google ads I wanna push these audience details to. So we're gonna check both of those boxes and then click enable. And then you're able to go back to the audiences page to build out a variety of audiences. Now, I'm not gonna to lie to you guys, there's a ton of variety of, of audiences that you can build that are super efficient depending on the type of business you have. You can get as granular as day-by-day -day audiences, time on site, add to cart. It really depends if you're an e-commerce or a lead generation business. So leave a comment down below if you want me to expand on audience uh, types, the most efficient audiences. I can definitely do a follow-up video there, but for now, having an all users audience, meaning someone's visited your site in the last 30 days, is definitely a good starting point, and then you can expand from there. So that's step one, Google Analytics audiences. The next way that you can make audiences and enable remarketing is going to be through Google Tag Manager. Now this option obviously involves a Google Tag Manager account, so I'm not gonna go through the process of setting that up, but if you already have a Google, Google Tag Manager account, you need to enable remarketing in your Google Ads account, then create a tag through Google Tag Manager with set up properly based on the credentials that Google Ads gives you. So this is a pretty straightforward option, but I prefer Google Analytics just because if you create the audience in Google Ads, I'm sorry, in Google Analytics, you're able to take different templates, you're able to change things around, you can make um, advanced audiences, some of the data that isn't directly available in Google Ads, but it just really comes down to a preference thing. So if, you're go if you wanna go the Google Tag Manager route, click on Tools and Settings, go to Audience Manager underneath the Shared Library, 
Once you're here, you need to enable your remarketing. You're gonna see you don't have any sort of sources set up right now. So if you go to audience sources, and then on Google ads tag here, you're gonna to wanna to set up that tag. And once you have that tag set up, it's going to allow you to start remarketing to your audience. So I'm just going to want to collect general website data. I'm not going to collect anything like that's in regards to you know real estate, local deals. Like if you have one of these specific verticals, definitely go ahead and, and go that route, but you can change this down the line. I would recommend just doing this first option here. Um, and you can exclude California if you would like, just due to not GDPR, but I believe it's uh, CDPA or, or the, another privacy act that um, California has. So um, the, the next thing you can do is go to save and continue. And then you can install a tag Google through Google Tag Manager. You can install a tag yourself if you wanna copy and paste this onto your website. Um, if you have a developer, go that route, obviously, or even better, you can email this code directly to your developer. So if you guys are about to, if you guys see this code here and you're like, what the heck's this? I don't know what to do. Definitely send this information over to your developer. However, if you would like to install through Google Tag Manager, which is my preferred option, go to use Google Tag Manager. Here's the conversion ID. And we just need to copy and paste this conversion ID on our site, which is really straightforward. So let's head over to Google Tag Manager real quick. This is Google Tag Manager if you haven't been here before. I just use it to have my analytics code placed on there right now. I will be placing additional codes on there down the line. But if you create a tag, we can create a new tag. So I, I kind of flipped that a little quick. If you go to tags on the left-hand menu and then go to new tag, we're gonna call this Google Ads Remarketing Tag. You need to capitalize that, obviously, for proper sentence case. Um, and then if you go to tag configuration, you're going to see there's a remarketing uh, trigger and tag you can automatically set up. So click on that option and then put in your conversion ID, which that's what Google Ads gave you here is this conversion ID. You can read all of this stuff. It's gonna go through um, all the steps I just took you through right there. But essentially, you're just going to need this conversion ID right here. So if you just paste that in there, we want this to trigger on every single page. You can set up additional triggers if you want it to fire only on your thank you pages or what have you, additional pages like that. I'm just going to have this fire on uh, my home page for now, and then I'm going to save it. And then once you're done, you just submit that bad boy, click on submit. We're going to call this Google Ads Remarketing tab, and then you just publish. And then just like that, the tag will be installed. So it'll take probably, it could take up to 24 hours. It should be a lot faster than that when the tag is placed. But if you have Google Tag Manager, um, Google Tag Assistant add-on installed, you can vet to see if everything is installed properly. And that's it. That's how you get remarketing set up through either Google Tag Manager or through Google Analytics. Whatever your preferred method is, they will both get the job done just fine. Just remarketing to users is going to be a major benefit because you're going. that's going to allow you to hit a much warmer audience of people that have already engaged with your brand in some way. So if I didn't cover anything, if something wasn't unclear, definitely let me know below in the comments and I'm more than happy to help out. Uh, but until next time, I really appreciate it and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks. Thank you.